Now try to understand when we use an ideal microscope, the light from the focal plane would be allowed to reach the detector. So here I write that when we use the ideal microscope, what is the principle of the ideal microscope? That light from the focal plane would be allowed to reach the detector. So focal plane to the detector which we discussed for example CCR okay would be allowed to reach the detector which helps to produce the clear image of the plane. Okay which helps to produce the clear image of the plane of sample. Understood? This is a principle of ideal microscope. But unfortunately, a microscope is not this specific. And the light from sources outside the focal plane also reaches the detector. Unfortunately, the light from different sources also reaches the detector. Understood? This is not actually happening in the real life which we are talking about ideal microscope, the light from the different sources are also coming to the detector. As a result of which, what can happen? Just think. So in a thick sample, there may be a significant amount of material and between the focal plane and the objective lens. So what I said, I said in a thick sample, there may be a significant amount of material and so spurious signal between the focal plane and the objective lens. So here it is saying that and there are some few uh, methods which can be followed for good optical sectioning and this can be using high objective lenses, high magnification objective lenses. So here I write for good optical sectioning. There has to be high magnification objective lens. Also what can be used is that oil immersion objectives produces the larger numerical aperture. So when there is larger numerical aperture, there is improved optical sectioning. Also I write here oil immersion objectives. Okay, so these are the methods for good optical sectioning, which is high magnification of objective lens and oil immersion objective. And beyond increasing this numerical aperture, there are other uh, techniques available to improve the optical sectioning in bright field light microscopy. And most microscopes with oil immersion objectives, they are reaching the limits of numerical aperture due to refraction limit. Okay, so there has to be other method because oil immersion is reaching the limit of numerical aperture because of its refraction limit. So what is the other method that can be used? Other method can be differential interference contrast. It provides modest improvement. To optical sectioning. I will summarize. Don't worry guys. Okay. Next is. In this difference, uh, differential interference contrast, the sample is first effectively illuminated by two slightly offset light sources. Okay, it is first illuminated by two slightly offset light sources, which then interfere to produce an image resulting from the phase difference of the two sources, which we will discuss and we already discussed about this differential interference contrast. Next one is fluorescence microscopy. This one, so first was DIC, 
Second one is which can improve this optical sectioning is fluorescence microscopy. I just write here FM. Okay, this fluorescence microscopy, it objects out of the focal plane only interfere with the image if they are illuminated and fluorescence. Okay, if the image illuminate and fluorescence, then only it objects out of the focal plane. And this adds an extra way in which optical sectioning can be improved by making the illumination more specific to the focal plane. So what we want guys, what we want, actually what we want is we want to improve, we want to focus only on what we want to search. Okay, so to improve the optical sectioning, fluorescence microscopy can be used, differential interference contrast can be used. The third one is, so I write here number one is DIC, number two is fluorescence microscopy and number three I am writing here somewhere, number three is deconvolution. Convolution. Okay, this deconvolution process it significantly improved the optical sectioning and it helps to remove blur from the image. Okay. The fourth one, which helps in improving optical sectioning, it is by using clearing agents, which poses high refractive index. So the fourth one is using clearing index. And this clearing index is helping, those clearing index are used, which poses high refractive index, say for example, greater than 1.4. For example, benzylyl alcohol, benzylyl benzoate, etc and these clearing agents they help to provide to render the specimen transparent so that they allow the observation of the internal structures understood so if i discussed the last part once again that how this optical sectioning can be improved so number one is this one that is high magnification of objective lens if it is used then the uh, there is good optical sectioning another one is when oil immersion objective lens is used number two okay other methods include now list uh, oil immersion all these are very limited because of which other methods are used for good optical sectioning which is differential interference contrast and then is fluorescence microscopy third is deconvolution which removes blur and fourth is clearing index and these clearing index have high refractive index which makes the specimen transparent and so that the internal structures are clearly visible so this was about optical sectioning please read it from any reference book and it will be very helpful clear so the optical sectioning is a, a method where the thick samples can also be visualized understood and the most important principle of this optical sectioning is that the out of focus light to the image can be removed without resorting to physically sectioning the tissue without physically sectioning the tissue out of focus light can be removed this is the important point for optical sectioning that's all about optical sectioning of the microscope thank you